Hey there, welcome back to the channel. So tonight I'm going to share with you a method of how to improve your steering feel amongst a BMW E46, E39, and other chassis cars. The following modification is very easy to do. It's also going to improve the longevity of your power steering system. So let's get right into it. Okay, so long story short, we need to access a bolt which mounts one of the pressure hoses to the power steering rack. We want to approach the smaller of the two, being the 19 millimeter size bolt, okay? We're going to jack up the car, remove the bolt, and I'm gonna show you what we have to do. Once you have the car off the ground, we will proceed by going underneath the car Nice little mat and then a drain pan. We're going to approach the power steering rack. And the bolt we want, banjo bolt, is going to be up there. You see them? We want the smaller one of the two. Get you a shot. Right there. You want the black one in this case. Once again, a 19 millimeter. We'll take that bolt out of there and we're going to catch the fluid that drops. And I'm going to show you of what to do to modify that bolt. And here is that banjo bolt in which we've just removed from the power steering rack. It is sealed with two crush washers, which is shown there. Now, as you can see, within the banjo bolt, there is a restrictor placed into it. Now, what that's going to do is it is going to force the power steering pump to work a little bit harder to force fluid to process through this banjo bolt. Okay. Now, it is simple enough to remove the inner workings of this. It simply pops right out. There is a little metal disc on top, and then there's a spring inside, as you can kind of see that, and there's going to be a plastic restrictor inside, okay? Removing the inner workings of that is going to do two things. It is going to give you a freer steering car, and you'll also be able to steer the wheel faster lock to lock. This is a very common modification known amongst both the drifting community and racing community. As we all know, maybe you don't, but there, there are two versions of power steering pumps for these cars. We have the LF20 and the LF30. The LF20 loves to shear off the shaft internally and come out of the pump. I would see that happening maybe a little less if these weren't added from factory because that pump is working harder to force that fluid through this banjo bolt now. The LF30s don't tend to fail. However, the uh, result removing this you can actually feel it in the wheel of the car. Now, do not get discouraged as you will still have that nice, prominent, stiff steering chassis the E46 is known for. Uh, that is granted by the chassis and suspension design within these cars. So by doing this, you're not going to lose that direct connected feel. You're just going to free up uh, the steering wheel. It's going to turn a little easier. You'll still feel planted to the car. You're not going to mess with that uh, well-known driving experience, okay? So let's go ahead and remove the check valve from this or the restrictor. And there is that top piece. Now we'll get this spring out of here like that. Now the plastic inner workings. As you can see with a pick tool going in through the banjo bolt and pressing upward, there is that restrictor beginning to come out now. And there it is. This is what's inside of that banjo bolt. A little restrictor. Just a big restriction, that's all that is. Hence the name restrictor, I suppose, right? So we can just... Uh, See, it's nice and hollow, much more open. So now that power steering pump and system is going to work in nice harmony and not be battling anything. So let's go ahead and put this back into the car now. Here is a quick note. It is indeed okay to go ahead and reuse your crush washers. All I do is sometimes is I just flip them and put them back on. However, if you have new ones, you can also use new ones, which is fine. I've, I've been able to crush these up to three times, uh, and they still seal up good, so no biggie. Once you have the banjo bolt 
reinstalled into your steering rack. Go ahead and refill your reservoir of the fluid you've lost. And then stand by for a few moments and wait for any fluid to possibly leak. If no, if no leaks are present, you obviously go ahead and remove your workings here and lower the car. The following video was obviously for a rear-wheel drive car. Now, if you have an XI, same thing follows. They use the exact same banjo bolt uh, on their steering rack with that restrictor inside. So to remove it, 19 millimeter, remove the guts, put it back in. That's all you got to do. Now we can enjoy our steering, our brand new steering feel. If I'm not mistaken, I've heard my cat at the door. So let's go ahead and welcome her into the shop. Her name is Jasmine. There she is. What are you doing, honey? Huh? Come here. What are you doing? Come here. This is a little jazzy cat. I want to pet her as my hands have a little bit of ATF on them, so a little bit of knuckle petting here. She's probably hungry, wants some food. We'll feed here in a moment. As far as this video goes, I believe I am finished. If you found the following footage to be useful or knowledgeable for you, feel free to subscribe to my channel as I highly appreciate it. Also, side note, please always use jack stands. Do not be like me, relying solely on a jack to support the car, as they can fail whenever they want. Don't be stupid. Use jack stands. I will see you guys in the next video. Catch you later.